you know, we hope that they learn a lot. We hope that, first of all, they learn that um, writing is freaking hard work. And it's not, it's not like this gene you're bought, you know, you're born with like, hey, I got the writer's gene, super cool. But they learn that, um, like for instance, I like to share with students that Juno Diaz, who is a contemporary short story writer, his last book of short stories um, that won lots of acclaim, he spent 16 years writing. So, you know, I like to emphasize to students, it's hard work, just like anything. It's sort of the Malcolm Gladwell rule, 10,000 hours you'll get good, so that they really immerse themselves in the craft. And in the craft and in the hard work, it can be fun because it, it is a calling. You, you, have to have, you have to have passion about it. I'm taking the fiction writing class and the creative nonfiction writing class. I'm more of a fiction writer, but the creative nonfiction is to expand outside of that and be more comfortable in all areas. I'll be taking poetry in the Lipscare uh, class for the Lit Magazine. I, I think one of the main reasons to take a creative writing class at Red Rocks is just the excellent faculty we have. We have multiple professors who are published. We have professors who have degrees in creative writing and across the genres. So we have creative nonfiction, we have poetry, we have fiction. I decided to sign up for a fiction class and a creative nonfiction class because I kind of really got addicted to that whole outlet. It was a different way for me to express myself. And I want to apply this to my future because I want to be that writer. I want to be well-rounded and have a lot of experiences and be able to take all of that with me and be proud of what I'm producing and know that there's that family element behind it and it's not just a writer's life dark corner in one room by a desk and that's it. There's a lot more to it and it's a community, it's a lifestyle and it's, it's a home away from home. Something I'm particularly impressed with in our department is yeah. our goal as a department to um, increase our own digital and visual literacy. And so in all of our classes, we're trying to incorporate that digital and visual component. In my own classes, that, that often takes the form of digital storytelling. Um, so in my creative nonfiction class, students have spent a number of weeks working on um, a creative nonfiction story that is actually um, digital. They've incorporated music and photography, video, some of them, um, along with their own creative nonfiction script. And it's been really wonderful being able to teach them the technology as well as the writing skills. Because for many of them in the real world, they're gonna have to be able to use both of those together. So I am very impressed with our department is that that's something that we, we treasure and that we really work on with our students. I think one class that's really special is the literary magazine class. And the reason that's special is because you walk away with something that you published. A, a real magazine, professional grade, that you can walk into another job interview and say, I have this, I was a key member of the staff. We are one of the only community colleges in the nation that has a literary journal that is completely run by students. There are other community colleges that have literary journals, but often they're run by faculty. Um, often not all the pieces in there are by students. There is by students. Students are the ones that um, choose the submissions, they're the ones that edit the submissions, they're the ones that lay everything out, they're the ones that negotiate prices with the printer, they're the ones that market the magazine. Um, so it's a wonderful opportunity for our students here not only to be published but to also have an opportunity to be part of a real literary magazine and get that real world experience. So one of the things that unites all the faculty who teach creative writing um, is that they are writers, they practice writing.